Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this showcase video. Today we've got an awesome custom schemed custodian guard army for you to check out. It's been painted by Sean, one of the artists here at Siege, who's done a phenomenal job in painting these awesome purple, black and gold custodians and with some really, really nice bluish hue marble bases. Uh, so let's jump in and have a look. Um, so it's right from the get-go, you can see this awesome obsidian kind of schemed uh, that they've got. Uh, really, really nicely executed with these kind of desaturated green sort of blades just to complement the purple aspects of the miniatures. Uh, again, really nice sharply highlighting done all across all the areas of detail on the models. Uh, love these kind of purple capes here with these sort of uh, bluish deep sort of recessed hues as well, which is really nice. Uh, obviously this is an Alaris Terminator, one of the uh, sort of heavier, more sort of uh, arduous kind of uh, models from the force. And you can see there's six of them. Again, really, really well executed uh, across all the areas of detail. And there's loads of detail on these guys, just absolutely covered in detail, these Alaris Terminators. Um, love the green lenses on the helms as well, just to obviously make those lenses stand out on the miniatures really nicely. Uh, again, all the little gems and things done in a desaturated green as well, just to really make them stand out on the models. Um, then we're going to jump back to have a look at the uh, Castellandian Guard. It's just so again, you can see these awesome marble bases that have been done across the force uh, with that bluish kind of hue to them, that blue gray, just to really really match them to the uh, and complement the purple aspects of detail on the models as well uh, so that's uh, so that's just these awesome awesome custodians uh, you can see all the edge highlights and details done on the uh, sort of obsidian armor as well which just uh, really really makes those segmented sections of armor stand out quite well uh, we'll have a look at one of the vexillors uh, so just uh, one of the icons from the uh, from the units again really really nicely done uh, that sort of desaturated uh, sort of uh, areas of detail on the green sort of highlights and things on the gems uh, all the text and scripture done on those scrolls there you can see on that Vexilor banner and again you can see all the purple accents just on these miniatures also so really really well done by Sean um, we'll jump across and have a look at the other squad just for consistency purposes here's the other Vexilor as well um, but again really, really nicely done you can see that marble effect just on those bases just painted really really nicely uh, again that bluish hue in those uh, in those sort of marble tones just to really uh, complement the purple uh, another one of the uh, custodian guard if I can just get that to focus for you there we go <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can see that lovely sort of uh, gold work that's been done in there with uh, several stages of highlighting just on the miniatures. We've got these really cool desaturated kind of uh, green blades as well, which just uh, look really good compared to the purple. And that's this awesome set of custodian guard. You've got obviously the Alaris Terminators and the normal custodians. Um, we've got loads of awesome other models to come up in this force as well. So stick around. I'll see you back shortly. So after all those infantry, we've next got the uh, awesome Virtus Praetors from this force. And uh, there's a great set of six of them. Two shield captains denoted by the purple sort of tops of the bikes. Uh, and then obviously four others uh, just to support them. But uh, Sean's done a great job on these also. Uh, a really, really nice execution across the models uh, using that sort of black, gold and purple scheme. Uh, you can see these lovely marble bases that have also been done on the uh, on the miniatures. Also got really nice sort of desaturated green power glow just on the blades uh, of the lances. And then obviously every little bit of detail fully painted on these bikes super cleanly. Uh, just really, really nicely done. Uh, and again, a great set of models. Really nice warm leather that's been painted on the, on, on these miniatures also. Uh, so that's just one of the Virtus Prey tours. I'll pull forward one of the shield captains just with that black, uh, sorry, with the, with the purple uh, top to the bike. Just so you can see that Sean's done a really nice job of putting that purple colorway just on the top. Just to denote those visually for gaming purposes, obviously, which one is the shield captain. Uh, again, you've got these really nice desaturated green spears. And then... Uh, obviously all the copper work gold work and uh, silver work done with through various stages of highlighting on these as well i do really like the uh, the super super vibrant and saturated gold just on those huge aquilas on the front of the bikes and also on the armor of the of the models themselves um and we'll pull forward another one here just so you can see the consistency from model to model. But again, really, really well executed. If I just get this to focus for you guys, apologies. Uh, again, just really, really nicely done. And again, we've got these awesome marble bluish kind of... Uh, I love the fact that the marble's got a bit of a bluish tinge to it just so that it complements uh, the purple accents on the uh, on the bikes themselves as well. Uh, but again, really nicely done here. You can see every little bit of detail fully painted on these awesome bikers. Um, so that's the first squad. And then obviously the second squad, very much the same uh, consistency across all the models. Models and uh, again, just pull forward a few just so you can have a look at them. 
but yeah, really, really well done. I do love the, uh, the the massive head crests that they've got. I think they're really, really cool. And that green used on the spears with those little power nodes that are glowing as well, just to complement, obviously, the uh, the purple on the bikers also. But uh, yeah, just really, really well done. Uh, so that's the Virtus Praetors from the Force. Uh, we've got my favourite part of this commission coming up last, which are the two hulking brutish dreadnoughts. Uh, so yeah, check those out. So last up in this awesome custom schemed uh, custodian guard force, we have the two dreadnoughts and we have the Telamon and also we have the Galatus. Uh, amazing two sets of miniatures, uh, really, really phenomenally tough. Um, our clients requested sort of running poses for these guys, looking like they're charging, about to absolutely demolish somebody. And uh, Sean's done a great job of uh, achieving that with both of these miniatures. We're going to start with the uh, the Galatus, so we're going to start with the one with the uh, sword and shield. Uh, just a really phenomenal model. Uh, just absolutely love the. Uh, the, the amount of little details on this guy obviously wielding his shield in front of him just to block him you see any incoming fire you can imagine just imagine this thing charging at you uh, you would uh, just be vaporized instantaneously as that shield hits you uh, really really phenomenal job that Sean's done on that uh, sort of really sharp highlighting just done on with black armored areas lovely super warm vibrant golds that have been used and then we've got this really really saturated purple as well uh, again I love the little lenses on the head of the, of the helm done in the green as well and you've got this awesome green sort of black brush blended sword as well just on this guy uh, but again really cool and you can see these awesome marble bases that have also done across the force also uh, just really really well executed and that's the the Atlas, the first dreadnought out of the two um, then we're going to have a look at uh, the uh, the big boy we're going to have a look at the uh, telemon and again in a really phenomenal uh, pose just uh, sort of charging forward which just uh, looks absolutely super menacing um, you just would not want to be in this guy's way um, leading the charge there as you can see nice sort of desaturated green sort of energy glow just on that weapon as it's cooling down from cycling perhaps uh, and again you've got obviously got those melt weapons there just on the uh, on the sort of forearm that just uh, ready to fire again you've got all the purple sort of uh, armoured areas on the top and then this super sharp highlighting across all the black areas of the uh, armoured sarcophagus of this dreadnought but again a phenomenal model uh, painted to a really really lovely standard with these awesome marble bases that you can see across the force uh, just really really well executed uh, and that's this awesome awesome two dreadnoughts to finish off this uh, lovely army which we've had the pleasure of working on for our clients i do hope you liked it ever so much thanks for watching i'll see you very soon on the next one So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.